guys, if you could just smell the air. If you have never grown peonies, you absolutely must. The smell is amazing. These are super fragrant, herbaceous perennials, hardy to zone three. They thrive for many, many, many years without much work whatsoever. And they will actually make a little bush. I mean, you can see this whole little row down here I've made, uh, planted years ago. It's nice and lush and it's full and um, just covered in fragrant blooms. However, this happened over here. Now this variety is called, I think, Pink Sorbet, I believe, I could be mistaken. But check it out, guys. It is flopped all over. So I don't know what it is about this variety in particular, but it is a, uh, you can kind of see this here. It is just kind of all over the place. Whereas these varieties here are self-supporting. So I don't know uh, if it's just a variety or what's going on, but therein lies the question, do you or do you not need to stake or support your peonies? Now I've seen people put little things up where they'll actually kind of prop up each individual little blossom just like this to kind of keep them from falling over and that's uh that's one option you do have now with this here and this uh blooms i mean it's not exceptionally large it's not like a like a double or something that's massive like a dinner plate dahlia that's just going to be falling over just be out of sheer weight uh falling over its own weight so i'm trying to get at but yeah, so maybe staking your peonies is not always going to be a bad idea, but it could be, you know, variety dependent. There's a better shot right here. I mean, look at this. This row here, it is lush, it is full, it is unsupported altogether. Now, I do have a kind of a heavy clay soil, so that may be part of it, which actually peonies will actually thrive better in some of the, uh, the heavier soil, to be honest with you. So I'm not sure if there's anything different with the soil on one side of the sidewalk or not, but I can't imagine it being any kind of the factor other than just maybe that plant wasn't planted quite as deep. Uh, I'm not really sure, but let me show you here. So this is what the unopened bud right here of the flower does look like. So if you, uh, if you actually want to uh, extend your season, what you can do is take a flower bud in this stage here, and you're gonna wanna cut it back, you know, back here, strip the leaves off of it, and wrap it up and put it in your fridge. Okay, leave it just in your refrigerator, just wrapped up in like old newspaper or packing paper, something like that. And then as um, when the time comes, take it out of the fridge, you're gonna stick it in some water, like a nice vase, and it will actually extend your blooming season. So definitely give that a shot. That's something you're really interested in because I mean, let's be honest guys, peony season never lasts long enough, does it? We have these beautiful blooms and uh, tr truthfully, a uh, nice big heavy rainstorm comes through and it is, has a tendency to kind of knock the petals off. So you're kind of at the mercy of mother nature. Now it is in the nineties. This is just the second day of May, which is about 20 degrees above average, maybe 15 to 20. And you can tell some of these little blooms here, guys are kind of suffering from just the excess heat in the sun and just, it seems like spring just never really shows up. It goes, just goes straight to summer nowadays. But anyways, I made a short or a little short video last year about deadheading your peonies. Check that out, what to do once the flower uh, blossoms do kind of fall off and everything and help kind of keep these guys going and lush. But I mean, even if you don't uh, care for the scent, which I mean, maybe some people don't, but look at this foliage, guys. This is nice, thick, lush beautiful foliage so once the blooms are removed after they've been deadheaded in the uh, late spring once the flowers are all gone they make nice little borders okay so these guys have been here for years uh, these were all actually started from cuttings which uh, there is another um, video coming up about that but that's something you guys can do if you want you can divide these plants out and make new plants but that will set the, the blooming back and kind of get rid of some of the lushness of some of the, uh, the foliage that you're trying to promote so Hopefully this was a little bit informative, guys. But yes, maybe you don't always need to stake your peonies, but you know, sometimes, sometimes you do because sometimes they're gonna fall over. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I like more of the natural look. I don't like having a lot of uh, ropes or things tied up in my garden in the front, you know? I let nature do it at once. And if the plant's kind of falling over, you know, and it's not really in the way, not across the sidewalk, it's not really damaging anything or, you know, being something that you just can't, um, can't really deal with maybe some people just really need that you know formal manicured look but you know what to each their own hopefully uh you find some peony variety that does well for you so this is the only one of the variety i have of the white blooms on it so it may be a um, variety issue like i said or it might just be just this particular plant is not very well at uh supporting itself so not really sure about that right there guys but 
hopefully it's helped you guys just kind of get an idea of what to expect when growing these amazing peonies. Hopefully uh, helped you guys out and I'll see you next time. Go out there and grow some peonies, guys. You will not be disappointed.